If you guys think back to about August of last year, I made a video called Off-Brand Blasters. And in that video, I spoke about companies that haven't gotten the proper spotlight or maybe the right shade of marketing to become relevant or even to be discovered in this crazy age of performance dart blasters. Airsoft bro. Airsoft bro. Airsoft bro. And the overwhelming marketing that is prevalent in the four big brands, Busby, Primetime Toys, Zuru Toys, and of course the mothership Hasbro. In that video, I did mention there was two brands. One of them took notice. They reached out to me in November and asked me if I would be willing to receive a promo box from them and perhaps even review a few of their products. Well, you guys know me. I'm not the kind of person to say no to free stuff. This company seemed pretty cool based on just the research I did from them. When they communicated and reached out to me, I was kind of like surprised at how approachable and friendly they were. And then I got the box. blown away at the presentation this is not no ordinary promo box as you can see my name was actually printed into the graphics under the lamination of the box I thought that was pretty crazy it even says weapon data kind of cool it's kind of like discovering a weapon cache in a video game this video we're just gonna briefly go through the components of this box I'm gonna talk a little bit about the company and their distribution effort and then I'm gonna discuss the review schedule for the components in here so let's get started shall we all right guys we got a few things going on here but first up looks like we have part of their main series something that gives us a little bit of a resemblance to the x shot vigilante it does have a very small form factor small scope i can imagine this being for a younger crowd even though they do advertise it for ages eight plus does come with a 10 dart this is the micron this is part of their mainline series it's kind of like a jolt with some extra furniture a little bit of a body kit on it another jolt variant that they have is the nanocron this one resembles the classic nerf jolt the most this one's actually pretty cool it has the bottom prime just like most jolts two darts kind of like basic small jolt configuration blasters you would see of course got some extra darts this is a 50 pack now these darts are what i like to call three quarter length they are actually still shorter than the x shot Excel dart. This would come in at around the length of a three-quarter length dart. Kind of cool. May serve effective for some specific applications. And then we have the Fast Shot Cyber Gen series, which I guess it's a sub-brand. Kind of like saying Doom Lens for Nerf. Brand within a brand, so to speak. This is kind of cool because it encompasses a lot of the characteristics of the X-Shot Crusher, but in a small form factor. So it has this reverse kind of grip with a top button to release the prime. And then you have this priming bar right here to actually prime the blaster so i thought that was kind of cool it does contain a little bit of an off color to associate it with that sub brand characteristic of cybergen this stuff is going to be really cool to review now i also have some of my own blasters that i had promised to review back when i did that off brand video these are items i purchased with my own money back in last august i found these items at dd's discount happy line did tell me that these items are procurable at a bunch of stores i'm going to list these stores in the description over time they're saying they're going to increase their distribution efforts and we're going to be seeing more and more of these at local DD's discount stores as well as their other distribution stores. This pistol here, which I actually featured in my original video, is called the Bantam 3. It's kind of like a Fire Strike style pistol. Resembles the X-Shot kickback a lot without the slide gimmick. The performance on this is actually pretty amazing. It has a metal dart post. I remember talking about that also in that video. All of these sets come with these little targets, which you can just prop up and shoot at them for fun. I believe this is called the Epsilon, and this little minigun looking thing here is called the the bear claw these are pretty cool blasters guys i'm excited to review these things for you it's always nice to know that there's an alternative to our everyday brands new companies coming out that are wanting and willing to compete with these mainstream brands and that motivates companies to actually increase their quality control
general and the overall reception of their products. Now, Happy Line also told me they do have a slogan. It's called Play Happy, Stay Happy. I thought that was kind of cool. And they did tell me that they're going to be coming out with a new line of both foam and water blasters with an alien gen theme. So I'm really excited about that. Like I said, this is a fresh new product. I'm happy to introduce it to you and I hope that we can see more of it in the future. Definitely look forward to these individual reviews as I'm going to be rolling them out slowly in between my other pieces of content. But for now, I recommend you watch this video right here. You're going to find great value in that. Till next time, stay blasting, foam fam. Yeah.